Who are you working for? Hi, this is Ivan LaCroix with the Detailers Business Academy, where we strive to take you from detailer to entrepreneur. A lot of detailers don't really know who they're working for. Are you working for yourself? Are you working for your customers? Are you working for your ego? Well, that's a question you need to answer and you need to figure out. To become an entrepreneur, the person you need to work for is your customers. I hear it all the time and I read it on the Facebook groups that I only do it to my standard. Well, your standard might be an excellent standard, be a great standard, but for a business sense, it may not be the best thing to do. You need to do it to your customer standards, what they need, what they want, and what they desire, because they're the ones paying you and they're the ones that are going to make your business successful or a failure. And a lot of detailers unfortunately do fail because of their standards and those standards while they may be great, while they may be over the top and excellent, are not what your customers want. Be very careful as to who you're working for and know who you're working for and why you're working for them. Another thing that a lot of detailers overdo is hours. You need to find balance in your life. You don't need to be working 70 or 80 hours a week to make your business successful. And if you are needing to work 70 or 80 hours a week to make your business successful, well, you need to reevaluate your business and your business plan to make sure that you're not doing that. Now, you'll notice my environment today is a little different than normal. I'm sitting in a tractor. Yes, a big John Deere tractor. And the reason I'm sitting in a tractor, I spent the week at an agricultural show. And this agricultural show, a lot of detailers would say, well, I don't do tractors. Well, guess what? Farmers want their tractors coated. They like their equipment to be clean. You think a Ferrari is expensive? Go look at a combine. There's a lot of potential out there and a lot of new customers that many detailers have never tapped into. Whether it be agricultural, aviation, trucking industry, there is a lot out there. There's a lot of different fish in the sea and you don't need to be always fishing for the same one as everybody else. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or ideas, please leave them below. Always happy to answer, and we'll see you in the next video.